All right, good evening and welcome back to Big Blue Block. We are Montenegro, it is very hard mode, and it is very hard. If you missed the stream yesterday where we started off, here's a quick recap. In the first few months, we were attacked by Venice. We were then attacked by Bosnia. We were then attacked by Ragusa. Uh, we defeated Venice in every battle they fought, and we were able to get out of that war structurally intact. We completely occupied Bosnia. We took away four of their provinces and subjugated them, leaving them only with Hum. And we just annexed Ragusa. You seldom get an opportunity to do that without Ottoman involvement. But we had that chance, and we took it. After that, while well, Bosnia was kept around as a march, we sold off this piece of garbage land to Venice, and 20 years later, that massively intelligent move of ours has paid off. At least, I hope it's paid off. Hungary have gone to war with Venice over this province, and this puts two big threats of mine at each other's throats. That is always a good position to be in, as long as one doesn't completely overwhelm the other one. There's a bit of a, tr a bit of trouble here, though. Hungary still have great allies, meaning that however this war goes, I won't be in a position to curb stomp them unless for some reason none would get involved. As for Venice, they got Mantua, Oldenburg, Salzburg, and Ravensburg. Each of them would be difficult for me to take on. Never mind the fact that Venice have... Uh, how many troops again do you have? Oh, <laughs> it's 29,000 with the potential to go up to 32,000, and that's just with force limit in mind. We will keep our eyes on the situation. There's a good chance we can make something of it. However you cut it, though, we need to reclaim the agency of this campaign. We've been clinging to our allies, and, well, Serbia decided they don't like us, so they broke off the alliance and stuck together with Wallachia, who we managed to bag ourselves, so we shouldn't be under threat of Serbian attack. But the fact that Serbia remains guaranteed by the Ottomans is a huge problem for us. I would love to just cleave into Serbia, because if I recall well, and I do, Wallachia wouldn't even help them because they're cruel and they like us. But that Ottoman guarantee ensures that Kosovo will not be mine. Speaking of the Ottomans, our uh, relations are warm, but they're heading towards lukewarm. I need to keep that up quite a bit. Same with Hungary. If either of them start thinking they want to nibble into Montenegro land, I'm probably not going to be saved by the alliance that I scored with Muscovy, because Muscovy have not yet reached their final form. Denmark were able to chew into a lot of Novgorodian land, and that stops Muscovy from getting stronger nor have they expanded into the fairly wealthy Kazan lands. So whilst they're a nice detractor for DOWs against me, I can't really rely on Muscovy right now. Basically, it's all pretty bad news for us. Nobody ever seems to want to be our friend. I tried and tried with Savoy, but uh, that very hard mode, uh, it's just insurmountable for all but those who border me or are particularly friendly ortho bros, because we are orthodox ourselves. So what are we going to do? Well, it would probably be prudent to pay my troops and keep an eye on the situation here. We're eating a deficit, yes, but we've punched enough money out of the people around us to hopefully keep us together and uh, through everything. <laughs> I like to build fiscally responsible empires, and I'm not currently having one right now. Oh well. Um, M and M and M. Wish I could think of something to do. What we were doing earlier on was eyeing up Imereti for a no CB war. I can't remember why I didn't do that. There was probably a good reason. Probably a very good reason. Oh well, let's slow it down, unpause, and see what uh, see what's coming of this. Straight away, Venice are running away. Straight away, Serbia want to claim my land. What in the world was that? Hmm. Uh, noises outside aside. That's interesting. The Ottomans have gone to war with Theodoro, who people in chat were talking about for a no CB war. But they've got an alliance with Kirkassia. Kirkassia have no further alliances. Hmm. We're safe until Theodora dies, at least, says Soviet. Yeah. Hang on. Ottomans, are you bringing in anybody else on uh, on this one? 
It's just them. I mean, the Ottomans will curb stomp Theodoro and Circassia. I'm not thinking about striking Theodoro. They got all these guys on their side, actually. Did they join in on the Ottoman war there? I think I need to give it a day and see what happens. Circassia, Cyprus, Ditmarchen, Mainz, Genoa. Genoa! The Ottomans brought in the Ramadan. Hmm. You're wrong there, uh, wrong there, Karma. Circassia did stand by them. It's not like when Venice supposedly would stand by Albania when they were attacked by the Ottomans. God, that screwed me so hard. Okay. Change of plan. It would take a miracle for me to be able to make something out of this. And, well, this has been the campaign of miracles so far. But how about we reclaim control of the situation? Diplomat, get off of Wallachia for now. Make sure I have military access to get me over here. That means I need Georgia. And even the Georgians are making their plans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get you on that. Oh, I don't like this. Right, well... If I'm going to declare a no CB, I want to switch this, but I can't do that for a while. Dang. Alright, well, let's get moving. I'm going to want some leadership where we're going. Aki has 5 mil. They'd probably be pretty good. But I want to keep that 5 mil and strictness, so let's put our faith into a general. I think it's going to be the first time for work worker to show us what they're made of. <sighs> Come on, massive shock. I'll take siege. <sighs> Fledgling. Okay. Thank you, Georgia. I need you too, auto friend. Uh, well, they're both willing to give it to me, so I'm taking it. Probably putting me over my relation limit considerably, but that's all right. Dip is temporary. Survival is paramount. All right, so let's jog on over as fast as one can go. I can't go by boat because I don't have enough boats, and both of these guys probably have like five times the naval capacity that I do. Oh, man, this is risky. We haven't launched a single aggressive war throughout this entire campaign. I don't think Serbia would attack me because Wallachia would defend me. Then again, Wallachia is cruel. They might not. Actually, the same reason that uh, Wallachia wouldn't defend Serbia probably means they wouldn't defend me either. That's something to keep in mind. <clears throat> but I have no reason to believe that Muscovy wouldn't help me. Screw it. Jake of old wouldn't hesitate on this. Theodora will get involved. Considerations are that uh, I could wait for Theodora to be wiped out. But, that could take too long, and also, what of Circassia? The Ottomans might take land off of them, which I'd really rather avoid. Screw it, let's do it, as they say. Uh, <laughs> you know, if I just uh, wipe and have to restart, it's going to hurt so much, especially after how well we did in the first session. But, uh, let's go. I don't like being at negative stability. I really don't. But it's only going to get more painful as time goes on, most likely. So let's pay that off. You know, it was only a hundred and uh, 206 day admin to lose there. God damn that religious disunity. Okay, well, let us march. Oh yeah, that caused aggressive expansion, right? Oh, I gotta keep that higher. I gotta keep that a lot higher. The Hungarians aren't happy either. At least the aggressive expansion degrades at the same rate as the improved relations. Jeez. Uh, okay, well, I need to thunk down a diplomat on the Ottomans then. <clears throat> keep them friendly. Jake, wouldn't it be faster to go through Lithuania and Crimea? Potentially, but we've already opened up this way. I want to get myself here faster, and there's a there's less of a chance we're going to run into enemy troops in Ottoman land. 
Then again, there's also the chance that they're just going to go around here and invade me. Let's just hope that they don't. Alright, worker, worker, work your magic. Just joined. Why are you doing this, says Drach Noir. I wonder that every day. Why? Just why? Well, that money's going to dribble away real fast. Uh, if I recall well, we gave Wallachia a knowledge sharing, right? How much dosh do we make off of that? Eh, not bad. Let's try and keep making that dosh. How is fighting someone the Autumn Freaks want to eat going to benefit you, says Carmen Effect, because it's still land. The problem here is that where can we even go? At best, I could go into Italy, but that's not even the direction I want to go in. Besides, the Italians are far stronger than me. They have allies that I simply can't take on. Naples is under Iberian yoke, although the Iberian wedding failed. Oh yeah, that's of note. Iberian wedding collapsed, as in it didn't happen. They chose local noble instead. It's not local noble, but it was local something. Local talent, I believe. I wasn't even that talented. Isabel 332. Wouldn't give up Aragon for that. And Crimea declined Ottoman subjugation. That could be very useful for me. That's going to vastly delay the Ottomans getting in Muscovy's way and could open up new fronts for me. One could hope. It's also very fitting for us to go to Georgia, I agree. Why Carcassia instead of Ireland? Lack of ships? I could make ships, but even if I was in, Ar in Ireland, England would be a massive threat. Very hard mode England is a beast. Ah, crumbs are blocking my way. Mm, ah, well, thank you, Auto Fleet. So, here's my thinking, and it, it's like a snap 180 for what we were thinking about here. Speaking of, could I interest anybody in military access? I need people off of my back here. Might be an idea to give it to uh, both parties here. Just have them kill each other better. Um, on, the, on the same continent as your capital, if you subjugate somebody, you can core what is adjacent to them, and of course conquer what is adjacent to them. So even if Caucasia is reduced to like a single province here, I could f subjugate them, can't annex them, and then I could start conquering adjacent to them, and that is where my alliance with Muscovy could come into its own. I could conquer all this great horde land, thanks to Muscovy helping out, um, and then, you know, we could take an entirely different direction. We could start chewing through hordes. The land would be awful and revolting and sunny and not give me anything. But that is a problem for future Montenegro, because right now we have a lot of problems. We're trying to undo the problems here. Please, I need to cross. Man, why do we have to have uh, 1100 General? I take names from people uh, who support on Patreon for general names, and whenever names are relevant in a campaign or playthrough that we do, for example, pets in RimWorld. Um, and I think it's pro it probably feels better for them when it's late game and you actually get some, a uh, some actual uh, pips. Future Montenegro is starting to look like Ottoman territories, says Nerf Blightborn. Yeah, let's... Oh, crumbs. Speaking of Ottomans, I really gotta get those relations up. I am terrified of them falling too far. I think, but don't quote me on this, hostile is when it drops below plus 50, and you only break away from it when it's plus 100 in a similar way to how Outraged is at negative, but gotten rid of at plus 50. Yeah, I think it's time for a permanent assignment in the Ottomans, but what do I do with the other one? I mean, is there anybody else I should be uh, getting friendlier with? Muscovy and I are true blue. Wallachia's on my side. Serbia's a lost cause. Um... I don't think gluing myself to Hungary will help me too much. I'm at some point going to have to throw another scornful insult to keep the Ottomans uh, happy with me. At some point. So, what am I fighting against here? There's 15,000 of them, but I'm going to have to believe that between them, the Ottoman troops and the Ramazan troops 
are going to fight for me, could they? Yeah, they're not interested in military access. Curses. It would be the worst thing if I just ran into all of their armies here and got wiped. However, I did spec for military. I got six in that. You got five, and you're tribal, so laughing at you. Theodora don't. Theodora have six. So let's really hope that Theodora is about to get bodied here. The thing is, though, that the Ottomans and Ramzan have to deal with Genoa and friends, so it might not always benefit me. Jake, they can go hostile at plus 99. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just do what we can do to keep them happy. Why did you leave Paradox, says Branaz, because I wanted to go streaming full-time. And so far that seems like an excellent decision. Circassia is not under siege. The reason Circassia as a province is important to me is because it's the capital. You've got to occupy the capital if you want to be the one to subjugate. If I recall well, I might not. I mean, I can do it anyway here. Uh, maybe I am misremembering that. Huh. Oh well. Regardless, getting the capital will get me the war score, so let's go for it. Is Theobroro in your war? Absolutely. Not only that, they're bringing uh, a lot of pain. They got more cavalry and more tech. So if the Ottomans could do me a solid and destroy them, I'd be much obliged. I really don't like having a diplomat that's not doing anything. Um, I already claimed Serbia. I can't threaten war on Venice because they're currently at war. Not that... Uh, well, I'm currently at war. Not that I think that would help too much. They're just chilling out in Dubrovnik. Go and fight your own flumen war. Cowardly doge. Theodore is going to get obliterated by the auto dudes. I hope so, but I'm not seeing these numbers go down. And I want to see those numbers go down. <clears throat> and there's the uh, Genoese fleet as well. You know, if I'm going over here, I can't help but feel it would be prudent to get myself a couple extra cogs. Two does not feel sufficient here. Oh, this is good. My enemies are killing each other. Not only that, but Venice have the advantage here. They're the ones that actually brought a general into the mix. Hungary's going to get minced there. They're both Tech 5, the utter losers. What's it like being so primitive? Let's just keep this diplomat stapled on the Ottomans. I am very, very scared of the Ottomans going hostile towards me. Okay, Venice didn't like the military access they had through me, and the Ottomans don't seem to want what I offer. Maybe if um, Theodoro troops ended up around here, they'd be interested? Question mark. Oh, pff, speak of the devil. He is. Come on, Ottomans, you know you want to slaughter that for me. That is a little bit reassuring, though. Even though the Circassians number in the many, I'm confident I can destroy them because of my technological advantage, even though I don't have the leadership advantage. Let's get on to Circassia before anybody else gets any ideas, and if I can get Adige while I'm at it as well, that would be great, because that will prevent the Ottomans from taking it. Now correct me if I'm incorrect, and seriously do, because this is a big point. If I subjugate Circassia whilst the Ottomans are at war with them, I will not assume leadership because Circassia is not the war leader. Makes perfect sense. Give it time. Jake can still be annexed. I am incredibly fragile. I absolutely could be annexed. It wouldn't even cost that much. 55%. He could almost take me out as a non-co-belligerent. State-appointed lay members. 50 admin power. Well, yes, please. I am in desperate need of admin. Yeah, I was uh, actually thinking about ideas before I started up this, camp, uh, this session. Diplomatics looking real good to me, just for the staying alive aspect. That dip rep would help keep people on my side. Improve relations for actual uh, happy people. And I've really felt the burn on lack of diplomats. The other thing that really appeals to me is religious, but I don't have the finances to go on crusade. You won't be at war, if I recall correctly. You said assume leadership. Yeah. That's the hope, at least. Okay. What are you up to, Great Horde? Because I'm, I'm getting in here. You're a bit of a risk. They're at war with Kazan, Crimea, and the Chekatai. Kazani conquest of Great Horde. Interesting. So you're busy, but you have a lot of uh, big cheeses on your side. Nagai, Kazan, Ramazan. 
Hmm. Muscovy could curb stomp them if he's not too busy with Novgorod or Denmark. But maybe I should set my sights on cleaving through some great horde land. There's downsides there. It's Sunni, which means Sunni countries would not be happy with that. But my options are very few and similarly far between. I could get one province, release and reconquer, especially for Astrakhan. But I can't afford to have lots of subjects right now. Still, none of the enemy troops have been cleaved through. This is a big concern, especially since that's the Abroro right there. And the Ottomans are still not keen on access. Would religious ideas be good for expanding into hordes? They would be pretty good, but they cost admin, which I'm light on. And uh, diplomatically, it wouldn't help me so much. And financially, I don't have the dosh to be converting all this land. I would highly recommend getting defensive, then religious for this run, says Asselkur. Why defensive, though? The quality of my armies won't make or break my life. Except for that very first war against Venice, where it made and did not break my life. Why are you not fighting the Ottomans? Okay, I get that Theodoro is a bit out of the way right now, but... Uh, it would be terrifying to me for Kakassia to just pop out and go, Surprise! Oh well, let's just go for it. You're not in any other wars. Just me and Otto friends. Can't keep my eyes off of this though. It's not impossible that a situation comes about from it. I just find it incredibly unlikely. Because even if everybody would say no in Venice's war, unless Venice somehow ends up bankrupt in it all, I'm not, uh, not interested in seeing what can be done there. Oh, for heaven's sake, this is uh, stressful. Jake, humanist and influence and diplomatic and defensive, getting extra dip relations via policy. There's a thought. I have not gone humanist in forever. And I think I might actually have to go for it, much as the idea group disgusts me. But how humanist is uh, the Soviet bloc really? Doesn't seem fitting, does it? Scotland is preparing to attack the Isles in a war of aggression. Mm. <laughs> the Goths are invading the Balkans. No, they're stopping short. Nobody wants to touch Serbia with an eight-foot barge pole, it seems. On the cusp here. Hope I don't lose out. Need to get the siege done and dusted. Done and done right, as I often say. Oh, crumbs. He's building up. That'll be done on the 24th. Mmm... We'll send an extra one out there. You'll get there in the 2nd of October. Well, that just blows. Let's move out anyway, though. I don't want you making new units right now. But you do not like humanist almost that much as YouTube scrubs, says Marwan Vashala. I'm not really sure I understand what you're saying, but uh, I think you're trying to tell me that I don't like humanist, which is completely correct. I think it's a great idea group. I think it's one of the most powerful, but it... Uh, just doesn't speak to me. Come on, I want to be greedy and take all of this land for myself. It's reassuring to see Ramazan here, that means that if the Circassian army were to pop out, I should have... Oh, I made my heart stop there, but I think it's okay. Genoa is now allied with Theobroro, and since Theodoro are <clears throat> under full occupation, I might just be able to get a white piece of them sooner rather than later. And then deal with Carcassia. Mm, okay. <laughs> this is really bold. I don't like it. Ah, we're so under threat. Is espionage the worst idea? Oh, hell no. Uzbek has dishonored with Great Horde. Who's attacking Great Horde? Nagai decided to have a piece of the pie. Interesting. Hmm. I'm developing ideas. My own ideas, not um, not EU4 ideas. What if Kirkassia gets attacked whilst I am besieging them? Then I assume more leadership. It won't be against the Ottomans, because the Ottomans... 
are currently at war with them, and even if they peace out, we'll have a truce. I don't think Great Horde will attack, since they are currently getting sideswiped. Crimea also probably won't attack, since they are busy chewing on uh, said Great Horde. But that doesn't dismiss Georgia or Shivan. Uh, well, Georgia's marriage with them probably gets in the way, and the fact that they're friendly. How about Shivan? Shivan hate their guts. Shivan have two claims. I don't really want Shivani land. It's garbage. But a fight's a fight. Uh, also, one of their provinces is technically Europe, so I can expand into here. We'll keep our eye on that, but we might be able to activate uh, activate brain power on that one. I was going to say activate the big think, but that sounded way too meme -y. Ah, welcome, auto friends. We're still cool, right? We're very cool. As long as I beat the Ottomans to the sieges, we should be alright. I don't want them beating me to this siege at the very least, but I'm lacking other people to throw at the problem. God, this is tense. I mean, we're talking about battles with one versus one, and it's still leaving me on the edge of my seat here. Which is nay good. Call the horse, because that is nay good. I have a feeling that I could take the advantage to going into Lachia. The Ottomans will probably move into Tarki. They might take it, but I can follow up with you. And then the Ottomans will take a province. I will take the rest. And the Ottomans can't actually take Tarki because it's way too way away from them to core. Way too way away. Me English good. Ah, bummer. He's going for Kunzia. That puts me at a disadvantage. In fact, they're all gunning for it. The pigs. Oh, but look who's running away like a coward. I'll arrive on the 20th, so you'll already be out of there. So I leave the Ottomans with one crummy... Well, it's not so crummy, it's seven development. And it's mountainous, so it's good for defense. Livonian Order, dishonored with Teutonic. Poland, are you at it again? Poland are at it again. Dang. That means an incredibly powerful PLC. Um, that's good as a counterweight to the Ottomans. It's very bad as a counterweight to my good friend Muscovy. Fortunately, Muscovy have finished up with their war there. So it's not too shabby. They can't take it anyway. I know they can't take it anyway, but I want all the war score I can get in this. Speaking of, are you willing to make peace yet? I'll give it a few months and you'll probably see the funny side. Uh-oh, I don't like that. Ah, oh, crumbs, I really don't like that. Why are the Caucasians over here? Ottomans, do what you gotta do, but get rid of them. That's actually very good, that forced a plus ten opinion with the auto friends. If I'd stayed on this, I would have had, uh, had control of the siege, but I didn't. They're gonna take it, it's not a big deal, but it's still more of a deal than I'd like to give them. Ah, oh, crumbs. Well, they should replenish enough troops to take care of that next turn. Ottomans are going to seek out that unit, which is good. I can actually supply it with units from here, since I know there's no threat. The entire enemy army is over here. Um, could you please not, Theodoro? Oh, dear God, could you not? Right, the Ottomans are nearby, hopefully scaring them off, but I need Theodoro out of this war. He's focusing entirely on me. And there are a number of reasons that I don't like that. I can't give them all that uh, all that war score, and the Ottomans are being piled on here by Genoese. Uh, it seems like Venice are not seeing any upper hand here. They are getting slaughtered by Hungary. Did they call in any friends? Oh dear God! Okay, uh, poor Venice. 
Again, that could be opportunity for me. But I'm just not seeing it. Even if Venice got next to wiped out. Unless they faced bankruptcy out of this. And let's be ready for if they do. Let's be very ready for if they do. Oh, just for when I get bankrupt, please, when another country goes bankrupt. Yeah, it's already pop up. Okay. Good, these sieges are resuming. My manpower isn't that terrible these days. Ugh. Either way, people are going to hate me. Might as well be the burgers, I guess. Because I need that admin, you know. Alright, we got more land. More land is good land, but I still need them not to get these sieges done on me like you, Theodore. Oh, come on, Ottomans. Scare them off. I got the tacky here. If I can just get Kirkassia and get Theodoro out of this war. Probably a big bit of the problem is they think they're really strong because they have that so-called army. Come on, Ottoman. I think the Ottomans are going around. They probably have access through Hungary, but not Serbia. Is that right? Yeah, jeez, that's a lot of country names. Serbia, do you grant? No. Then they're going around. And they should save the day for me. My good friends, the Ottomans. Why would they ever turn their backs on me? Ooh. Bosnia's falling like a house of cards here, though. That can't be good. I need them to not fall, because that's a lot of war score that I cannot simply give up. Hi, Jake. Who are your allies? Wallachia and Muscovy. I have Bosnia as a one-province march. Okay, Kirkassia gave up. They must have seen the Ottomans coming in their thousands. And I'd be uh, caking myself too in that. Come on, 21% is a great odd. Not great enough. Jeez, would it kill you to kill them? Theodora is the most important one for you to shed the blood of, because if you annex them right now, I'm just going to have Theodoro uh, rebels running around, and that would suck big time. Alright, good. They've got the fight, and Kirkassia is going to be a sitting duck. Sure, I'm glad I don't have to fight that. 3.9 morale. What's mine? 3.1. Yeah, we released and played as Montenegro, but Montenegro independent, not a subject. If they were a subject, I f strongly suspect things would have been a lot easier. Okay, this is very good. I can wipe Theodoro out of the war. Uh, Kirkas is still going to be in it, but I just don't want to see Theodoro here. There we go. I wouldn't be able to annex the province anyway, because it's outside of my range and already occupado. Could have subjugated them. I think that would have brought more problems than it would be worth, though. Because then my only way through is Crimea or Genoa. Whereas here, my ways through are Genoa, Crimea, Great Horde, Georgia, and Shirvan. Opens up a lot of opportunities. I could even force them to f uh, fabricate claims over the Caspian. It's a bit fernickety, that, but could be done. Okay, this puts me in a pretty, dare I say, baller situation. If the Ottomans would just kindly kill Kirkassia there, you are still at war with them, right? Yes. And Kirkassia are continuing to cause me problems. Actually, if I want Kirkassia as a subject, perhaps it's beneficial for me that they don't lose their army. Alright, well played, Kirkassia. This is just like earlier on when I kept the, um, the Bosnian army alive. I just need to capture Kirkassia, then I can subjugate them. I won't be pulled into any wars. Touch wood. Uh, and I will be free to expand into Great Horde lands, I think, is the most logical option. Then again, Crimea. Well, who knows what those crafty Crimeans are up to. I just know that the Muscovites would not be called in on uh, promise of land. Ooh, but what if Nagai do... Okay, well, there will be opportunities, that's it. I'll... Looking forward to giving the Cossacks land, you could throw in free T-64s. I mean horses. Uh, I'm amazed we can even afford two horses where we are right now. 
Run, Kirkassia, run! <laughs> Keep that army alive, I might need it. Ah, oh, disease. I am over-sieging here, and I know I don't have to. So let's get rid of you, and just have it as four of them dealing with this. And we will loot these provinces while we're here. I mean, that money's better off in my account than theirs. No, you have to run further and faster. How's that war actually going overall? 33. You still haven't taken Venice, though. Do you plan on culturally converting the Muscovites and form Rush? I am not forming nations here, not as Montenegro. It's such a rare tag that I don't want to drop it. I think it's part of Barrack that you'd suggest otherwise. So looking at this, Montenegro Vassal, not going to pull me into any wars. It will cause a few people not to like me. Actually, that's a lot of aggressive expansion. I should strongly consider the Ottoman implications of that. I should scornfully insult one of their enemies soon just to keep them peachy. Potentially the same with Hungary. Oh well. The Ottomans have accepted peace with the Cypriots. Wasn't even aware the Cypriots were involved in all of that, but there they were. That was probably on the list. Ah, do we have a clip with Montenegro's ideas? They blow, but let's have a quick recap since there may be people here that weren't around yesterday. Attrition for enemies and fort defense. That fort defense saved our buttocks earlier on, so let's not knock that. Legitimacy, and we started with only 20, that's good. Tolerance to true faith, as if we have much of that. Infantry cost. Embargo and privateering, navy tradition, tax, national manpower, and infantry combat ability. Infantry combat ability and infantry cost are great. I still think fort defense is good. Everything else is pretty uh, rubbish tier. This army maintenance is costing me way too much. Could we just take Kirkassia, please? Oh, hey, that's quite nice. And the Caucasian army survived. I would quite like your money. Uh, let's not mince words here. Costs me inflation, but it's better off in my account than anybody else's. But I wonder. If I sat on Caucasia for a while, I may be able to draw in an offensive attack from somebody else. And it wouldn't be the Ottomans, because the Ottomans will have a truce. Hmm... Manpower is useful, yeah, but the manpower level is so low. 15%. I mean, come on. Kirkassia's looted dry. Let's, uh, let's tap the other ones while we're here. <clears throat> How much is this worth risking everything over? It won't be Georgia. Georgia are friendly. It won't be Great Horde. They're getting attacked. Me. Could be Crimea if they finish up the Horde. Crimea, for once, are not allied to the Ottomans. It could also be Shirvan. Could give me the opportunity to expand somewhere that is very not Ottoman. It's also very not good for me anyway. Then again, if I take them sooner, I might be able to get that claim on Georgia and cleave through them. They have no allies after all, I just crushed the one person they liked. And they're surrounded by Ottomans, Ak Kuyunlu, and Kara Kuyunlu, and Shivan, I assure you. None of them really like them. Neutral, hostile, rival, hostile. And that allows me to directly take Orthodox land. Not that I think I could take Georgia, it's just... Mm, those alliances are going to shift once Crimea and Nagai touch. Yeah, maybe I should peace out so that I'm ready for whatever happens here. But being able to catch somebody in a defensive war is very advantageous because I can call Muscovy in, have them curb stomp them, and get a free victory. And I only have to hold on for. Uh, well, I got three and a half years that I can basically sit on Caucasia. Hopefully he doesn't get rebels or the like, but. Pfeh, so what if he does? I've got his capital. I think that might be the idea. We'll hold out for a bit and see what happens. Georgia won't give you much, but it'll allow you to have a land connection without integrating Caucasia. Exactly. That is 